welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a monthly reset video. We're going to be doing a reset for September, which it is crazy that it is already going to be September. We are getting close to ending the year off, which is just insane to say. I feel like this year has flown by so quickly. But anyway, today we are going to be doing a lot of deep cleaning and cleaning around the apartment. I want to do some digital cleaning as well and just going through my emails and my photos and my social media and just like curating everything to what I want, getting rid of apps, all of that. And I also really want to reflect on the past month today. I want to make new goals, set new goals, go through my notion and create some new systems that work for me. And lastly, I am going to be planning content Content for the month ahead. This is super important because I like to get dates in the calendar for YouTube videos and for short form videos and just have a bunch of ideas in my queue to make it a lot easier during the month. Anyways, let's go start cleaning and get this monthly reset started. <laughs> to just start by like picking everything up around the apartment so then I can move to vacuuming and wiping down surfaces so let's go pick my dirtiness up suddenly the world I used to know I see it differently you woke me from a dream now here's reality baby baby you are really hurting me to strip the bed and throw that into the laundry and then I'm going to do a vacuum. I also don't really like to wear these while I'm doing the dishes and picking things up off the ground because they're so heavy. They like fall off my head every single time. So now I'm putting my headphones on and listening to a podcast while I do the rest of this. Who are you and what are we? Really hurt him. my cleaning there is just so much to clean so there are a few things left that i'm going to do and then a few things that i'm going to leave for my boyfriend tomorrow more of the man jobs like the bathroom i don't want to deal with that so i am going to let him do that but now i just really wanted to take some time and clean out my digital space so that means going through old photos and videos that I'm not going to use anymore, organizing photo album folders for video content, deleting things off of my computer and Lacey for video content, and going through my social media accounts and seeing who I'm following and making sure that everyone I follow is who I want to follow, and just unfollowing anybody who doesn't really align with me anymore. Yeah, so let's go do that for a little bit and I will catch up with you guys after. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so next is my favorite part of all of the monthly resets. I actually just sat down and wrote my September goals in my notes. I like to put them in my notes first because I like to just like put everything down that comes to mind and then I like to go in and organize it in my notion more. So that's what we are going to do together. I'm going to make a new goals sheet in notion and I also wanted to talk about some of my monthly goals. I do have a lot but I think it's so important to have monthly goals and to sit down at the end of the previous month or the beginning of the new month and just really take some quiet time for yourself and reflect on the previous month, see what goals you hit, see what goals you didn't and why you hit some goals and why you didn't hit other goals. And it's really nice to just have a list of goals so you have clarity on what you want from yourself this next month. And I feel like it helps a lot with my mental health too because I know that I am doing X action to reach my goals for this following month. Okay, so a few of my goals for next month are 10K steps every day. I really have not been getting enough steps in or walking enough, so I definitely want to do that. I want to work out five days a week. I want to make and eat healthier meals. I want to drink three Awala water bottles a day, so those are my 32 ounce water bottles bottles and I want to be drinking three of those because I haven't been drinking as much water. I want to take my supplements every day. I want to start posting two YouTube videos a week. I know I've been posting one every Monday but I just want to get more content out and if you guys have any like suggestions or anything you want to see on the content end of things let me know in the comments down below. I also want to be posting seven short form videos on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube shorts every single week. I want to finish five books. I want to put effort into looking nice every day. I am not allowed to buy any books for the next month. I have to finish the ones on my shelf, which is super important. I want to go to church every Sunday. I want to get through Matthew in my Bible. I need to find a job and I need to use up the rest of my class pass credits for the rest of the month. I have been trying to go to class pass more often. It's super fun and I have some extra credits and I just don't want them to go to waste. Basically, I'm just going to go into my Notion and organize my goals so I can see them in a way that makes me take action every day towards those goals. And I am super curious to know what are some of your guys' goals this month. Comment down below some of your biggest goals and I would love to read what other people's goals are for this next month. Okay, so the last thing that I really love to do that actually takes me the longest is to plan out content for the next month. This just helps me to be really organized at the beginning of the month and I know what to expect every single week, how much content I need to get out, and what content ideas I'm planning on shooting. I've gotten a little bit better with my systems and organization for content planning. I do use Notion a lot and then I like to use my Google Calendar for big like dates that I plan on filming and then uploading videos and then I love to just keep a little video project tracker going and then a queue full of all of my ideas for long form and short form that I can just pull from and it's super easy. I also really like to use Google Drive and once I come up with an idea, I like to start writing my script or the template for it. I'll do the title and find some thumbnail inspiration and also stick that in there so everything is in there and ready to go for each week. But I'm just going to go through and archive a lot of the stuff that I've already videoed and drag some new new ideas into the queue and plan out some dates and filming days and uploading days and this is just one of the most important things that I could do for the month ahead because 
it makes me feel a lot more organized. If you are planning on going into content creation, I highly recommend doing this because it's a lot easier and you can bulk film and bulk edit things and plan out your content for the upcoming weeks. I just find it a lot easier to be more consistent this way and this just really works for me. So I will give you guys a notion tour of what I do and I'm just gonna go through and organize all that right now. Okay, so that was a wrap on my monthly reset video. I hope that you guys could take some inspiration from this. I did not finish everything that I wanted to today. And it's really hard because these monthly resets do take all day. Like they take a lot of time and they take all day and more sometimes. I have a few things that I want to finish cleaning and doing and I will probably get those done over the next couple of days. And I think that's totally fine. I think a lot of the time people think that you need to like monthly reset in one day and it doesn't always work out that way. And I think it is honestly better to split your days up and to do some resetting and then go outside and have fun and enjoy your weekend and finish a few of the other monthly reset tasks on other days of the week or like at night and stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys in the next one.